Hi right, there, the chicken nuggets. It's Meek it Carl. It's Andy. How's it going? Make sure to subscribe. Yeah, and like. Hit that, hang that, hang that ring button. What are you doing? I'm, I'm, I thought we were going for like a Charlie. This Daniels is our button. YouTube channel. Yes, welcome. Subscribe. And like. And now. Yeah, share it. <laughs> Roll that intro. Intro. Yeah. Welcome to Grill TV. Hosted by. Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to TV. Alright, here we go. I'm ready, do you think we can do this? We don't have a choice, Andy. Okay, alright. One, two, three. Oh, what happened? I thought of something bad. What was it? Thought about skipping school and going and stealing chocolate candy from my sister. Man, that stinks. Oh, hey, kids. We're both trying to not make mistakes. You see, the Bible tells us not to lie or steal or do other things that are bad, but it's really hard to do. You're telling me it feels like I can't go one hour without messing up. I hate messing up. I know, and I hate how it makes me feel. All right, let's say how it makes us feel on the count of three. One, two, three. Gassy. Sad. Pardon me. <laughs> that smells like a raccoon gave birth in a rotten banana stand. Anyway, you want to read today's Bible verses and talk about it? Uh, I guess. Are you kidding me? That is crazy. Y'all are not gonna believe this. Well, you know how we were both sad and down in the dumps because we couldn't stop messing up? Well, we just read something incredible. Ooh. Last week we were talking about John the Baptist. And now some people believe that he was a savior, but in reality, he was just preparing people for the real savior. And John was actually baptizing people. Andy, what does that mean? Well, getting baptized is a lot like showing some people on the outside what is happening on your heart when we choose to follow God. We use the waters and baptisms to symbolize and show that you know, we're cleaning out the old sins from our old life to receive this new life that we have with God. But John was baptizing people and showing them that they needed to repent, right? Right. And repent means to turn away, to stop doing things that are wrong. Right. And Jesus got baptized? Right. Why do you keep saying right? It's not right at all. How can someone who had no sin and was perfect get baptized? You just said you get baptized to show that you want to get rid of your sin. Oh, uh, okay, I see why you're confused. You're right, Jesus was perfect and had no sin. But Jesus got baptized anyway to prove to everybody and show everyone that he was obeying God. This way it showed that Jesus wasn't just an ordinary person. He was sent by God. Wow, and how cool is it that John got to baptize Jesus? Very cool, and y'all won't believe what happened when Jesus came out of the water. The heavens opened up, and the Holy Spirit came down on Jesus, and God's voice was heard. That had to have been so crazy to watch. Can you imagine? I can't. I think the most exciting thing is, because of Jesus, baptism means something different. Well, really? What do you mean? Well, when John was baptizing people, he baptized them with water. Right. Great. Now I'm saying right. But it says in Mark 1 that now because of Jesus, we are now baptized with the Holy Spirit, which is God living in us. That is crazy, right? Right. There it is again. But that's not even the best part. Yeah, isn't it amazing? As soon as we choose to follow God and repent from our sins, we receive forgiveness from every time we've ever messed up. See, I love that. But I find it hard to believe. What? Why? Well, I guess that Jesus will forgive me for my tiny mess ups, especially the ones I did when I was a kid. But he'll forgive me every time I ever mess up for the rest of my life? That just doesn't make sense. Well, to be honest, I don't think it's very realistic either. <clears throat> But it's true, that's what's amazing about God's love. There is nothing we can do that God won't forgive. Of course, that doesn't mean we go out and do whatever we want either. That is very cool. I guess it's just hard to understand because that type of forgiveness isn't very common with uh, friends and family. Nope, but that's why God is so special. And I'm happy because we can know forgiveness because of Jesus. And I know I'm happy because you just said our big idea. No way. 
Yeah! What? Today's big idea is we can know forgiveness because of Jesus. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. Ready? Ready. 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 One, One, two, two three. three. We, we can, can know forgiveness be because of Jesus. Woohoo! We can know forgiveness because of Jesus. He's the savior of the world. He's the best God. Yeah, yeah. I guess we learned today that no matter how hard we try, we will never stop messing up. But we can keep trying harder and harder every day to become more like Jesus and know that he will always forgive us. Yep, and even for this. What? That... <laughs> Classic, you had something on your shirt. Flick you in the nose. That's it. See you next week, kiddos. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road Here.